Thank you very much for this kind invitation to join you in this challenging workshop. Uh, I'm actually have been in my I'm running a research center, the Center for Functional Ecology at the University of Coimbra, and uh, in the scope of my, our research center, we've been really promoting uh, working in biological control for uh, more than 20 years, I think, in the using the acacia ecosystem in Europe as a, as a, um, our target. So we've been producing, I think relevant knowledge for this topic, but uh, in specific, uh, in this uh, workshop, I've been asked to to uh, address the, another program that I've been promoting, which is the, the relevance of seed coating for agriculture. And um, that's what I'm planning to do very, very briefly, of course. Uh, so, uh, is it, well, I think it's just, uh, so why, why seed coating and why I've been, uh, we've been working in this, uh, uh, we have established a specific program on, on the farming transition or agroecology. And uh, so we all know that intensive agriculture, we are highly dependent on agrochemicals, environment integrity, uh, we, we are losing biodiversity, soil and water resources, and uh, the negative environmental, social and economic consequences of, and of course, plus we have now climate change. So we have uh, the problem, uh, the urgent need to find sustainable alternatives. So. And uh, that's what we, we've tried to, to promote for some time. So environmentally friendly alternatives. And at the same time, uh, I mean, uh, taking advantage of the knowledge that we have in soil microbiology, we've started working with beneficial soil microorganisms for a long time. Specifically, we've been working with AMF, so a, a vascular mycorrhizal fungi, and PGPP, so the plant growth promoting bacteria, and using these two uh, uh, experimental uh, approaches, we've been uh, trying to address uh, the, the, um, at, at, the, at the firm level, I will explain in the, in the, in the end uh, the, kind of, the kind of project we've been developing. So of course, we all know that broadcasting uh, inoculin in open agriculture fields is not economically viable non target spreading of inoculum over large areas results in high costs per plant and per area. And of course, no feasible technologies for application of AMF inoculum in open field agriculture are, is available. So we have started developing this heat coating. I mean, uh, uh, in, in a way, this is again a nature-based solution. So, but the point here is to really to, knowing that we have some organisms that can be beneficial We've uh, tried, of course, to combine uh, seeds uh, that we need to start any growth of any plant, and then and then these beneficial organisms. What I what is the meaning of this? The seed coating uh, reduced the amount of inoculum needed for an effective inoculation, so making possible the application of these microorganisms in open field agriculture. Reduction of fertilizers, so reduce the dependence of chemical fertilizers using AMF and PGVP because we have a lot of uh, scientific knowledge uh, showing that they, they actually uh, do this, perform this job for us. And increase plant resistance, increase the resistance of legumes to drought stress. So we've been working with uh, some species that is, I mean, uh, an example showing how, I mean, it depending on, of course, the agent that you are using to provide, to promote this inoculation, but we've just uh, very briefly showing some of the, some of the, the plants uh, that we've been working with, uh, I mean, to promote this seed coating. Um, the methodology, the copy, we've been, this is probably our best, I mean, performance in terms of scientific outcome with in copy and chickpea. And uh, it was, uh, I mean, we could, we could show, and that it's available on papers, we could show that it's, uh, we, 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 we did, uh, I mean, promote the, um, some physiological and biochemical um, um, added value for, for, this, for, this, uh, for these plants. This is just, uh, I mean, how I'm going to combine this seed coating methodology, which is available, so I'm not going through it because I'm presuming that we will discuss it further uh, and I don't have time and I will really want to show you the project where we have been, uh, we are applying this, this is an ongoing European project which I'm coordinating, so I will briefly show you and you can follow it. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, that's the path for the integrating agroecology into global policy frameworks is another agenda that, is run, that we are pursuing. 
we uh, it's not going to be easy, but I think I'm an ecologist by background, and I strongly believe that we have to change the world. Um, uh, it's not possible to continue living with this. I mean, this is a, a map of, uh, and you can can see that uh, at, uh, the expectations are really to 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 continue to proceed with this nonsense uh, roots of um, increasing the amount of pesticides being used worldwide, so contaminating soils, water, and our health. And um, uh, I mean, uh, we have to find another way to go. And of course, I, I'm here because I believe that FAO can make a difference. We, this is an international organization that is working with all countries and will all researchers, all industries, and everybody. So. Uh, so we expect FAO really to be a major player in this transition for another farming systems. So microbial seed coating as an agroecological practice uh, is, uh, I, I, of course, is a, we all know what it is. Agroecology is, an, uh, of course, an, a social and science, scientific and social agenda that really we hope to conceptualize and design uh, a, a new sustainable agriculture and food systems. This is a big, huge challenge, and of course, but it's also understanding that we um, we need to bring together really our scientific approach, a set of practices, and social movements in order to really to generate the transdisciplinary field that um, makes the the way to go possible. I just go quickly. This is agroecology. That's the I mean how we started developing our, our ongoing projects uh, funded by the European Commission, and I will just briefly go into this. This is the, our, my, I'm coordinating this project. We started one year ago. It's called Good Agroecology for Weeds. And that's, um, that's our, our aim is to build up an agroecological weed management network at the European level, but we are establishing partnerships in, in South America and then in Africa as well, and uh, we are trying to really to cooperate as much as possible with other entities worldwide because we believe that we have to face and uh, this this uh, challenge together. So the, this is an European Horizon program, but it's just one of them. We have uh, now we were fortunate enough to ha get a number of other uh, projects. This uh, was uh, how we started, but now we have a couple of projects that are additional and I think uh, especially working with soil and um, and soil biology so I think uh, but in one this one involves a number of different universities of Europe and uh, not only universities but also also our entities and industries <coughs> involving 20 partners 11 countries we are using we have established a number of living labs all across Europe uh, using nine annual crops and six permanent crops and uh, conventional organic and mixed farming systems. So we're, uh, this is the methodology is available online if you want to really to get more information. And uh, well, I, I, I believe that one of, the, one of the aspects why the project was funded and very well evaluated was because we included as one of the packages the, the use of beneficial organisms. So the use of seed coating as, um, as a strategy. So these biocontrol agents, grazing and natural herbicides. And we use it as one of, this is one of the work packages that is going to be critical in terms of the scientific outcome of this project. Seed coating, uh, we are applying it. And if you want to follow up, so we have 16 living labs and, and different conditions all across Europe. And we are applying seed coating and uh, how. So we have collected the protocols. Uh, we have collected uh, soil samples from seven countries and, 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 and using them in our living labs. And uh, we have used, uh, especially native AMF, collected from different soils in different countries. So we have uh, trap pot cultures to produce native AMF. And we have been using specific protocols and guidelines to proceed with the seed inoculation of cover crops. And uh, now this is uh, part of an ongoing project. We are expecting, of course, to have uh, a nice scientific outcome that we will share with you in the future, but this is just uh, an application, a very specific project that you can follow up 
we have been using seed coating as a strategy to promote improvement of the quality and the yields of the of different crops used in Europe. And uh, if we are successful, as we hope, we will certainly uh, hope to share with um, and have enlarge our network of, uh, I mean, applying specifically this methodology. I'm not going to show the, I mean, the scientific out outcome of, um, of, of what is possible to do with seed coating, because I believe it depends on the specific condition, situation, is uh, very specific, should be. So, I mean, we can discuss it maybe afterwards, but now it was just to give you an overview of a specific project that you can follow up and uh, where we are using seed coating as a strategy to promote uh, uh, agroecology. Thank you very much for your attention.